Hey, how are y'all? Welcome to Cooking with JB. This is something fun that we love and started doing, and um, we're here to make uh, your life a little bit easier and show you how some of the wonderful items that we do here at the cafe, uh, such as our staples, the shrimp BLT, the steak, the pork tenderloin, are different items that we have, and today we're actually going to make the shrimp BLT. Uh, this was a little known sandwich that when we came out, we had uh, found this incredible bread. It's a Sheila Parton jalapeno sourdough bun that we love. And my dad didn't want to sell a BLT. And so his way of saying, how can we make more money on it, was let's throw some shrimp. Um, and we used our original honey mustard, but then we found the smoky mesquite mustard literally laying in the office and said, let's give it a run. And hence, we have this incredible sandwich today that is phenomenal. Um, one of the things that we do, the key to it, is one, we use a thick cut bacon, okay? This is a 11 to 13 slices per pound, so it's extremely thick, okay? So that's what you want to start with. You don't need no flimsy, floppy bacon. Nobody wants that, right? Second of all, we're going to use colossal shrimp. So uh, your terms of when you see 1620s or jumbos are different, um, those are what you get per pound. So these are what they call 13, 15. So that means we get 13 to 15 per pound. So, and we put four of them on there. So what does that mean? You're gonna get a quarter pound of shrimp and at least a quarter pound of bacon, okay? We do like to interweave our bacon and put it on top there. Um, the reason being is that it all holds together, especially when you're busy during the middle of antique show, you're able to pick up the piece of one and move forward. Um, a couple things also, you definitely gotta season your shrimp, right? A lot of shrimp doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. So we're gonna use garlic powder we also got some burgers and beef that we're doing here as well. We're going to use lemon pepper. Okay, don't just sprinkle. Use a good bit, all right? Give it that flavor. And we use what we call dill butter. So this butter is one of the staples that we use on everything. Um, our steak, our pork. And in fact, we've got another order for a BLT salad. Same sandwich, we just turn it into a salad. Um, so this butter we use on everything. It's a combination of uh, butter, dill, chicken base, garlic, and onion all mixed together. And I promise you, it is a life changer. It adds a lot of flavor to everything you're doing. Um, again, we're going to go season this shrimp here. My lovely assistant, my wife in the back over here. She makes me look good. And then, okay, we're going to weight that bacon. All right. So this grill, so if you're doing it at home, medium high heat, right? Nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, so that bacon or shrimp is almost cooked, okay? You don't need a whole lot of time. Okay, so it's still sitting in that butter, right? We're still cooking anything in that butter. We're gonna add more of this goodness. Never enough garlic. Okay. So my wife's over here toasting these uh, Sheila Parton sourdough buns. Okay, these are what we use here. They're a hoagie bun. Um, and they are the jam. You toast both, but Boo? Yep. She's toasting both the top and the bottom. I don't do that portion. And what we're in the, we're going to put it up is this smoky mesquite mustard. Uh, we'll show you how we pull it all. This is actually for sale. Uh, it's incredible. It's thick. We also mix it with a balsamic vinaigrette to make a great dressing. Uh, you will find it like we've turned it into a pizza and made like a BLT pizza. And this is what you use as your base instead of like a marinara. And it's phenomenal. It's got a lot of flavor, a lot of depth to it. And so it's a great sauce, great condiment. Okay, our bacon's not quite done, so what do I do? I pull it off down here, so the shrimp is not cooking, but staying warm. I scrape off all that butter, all right. We go through about 10 gallons of this dill butter every week. Uh, so you can know, know that my family is not a small family, because we like to put butter on everything, okay? No offense, mom and dad or anybody else out there. Um, so we're doing it while we're open as well. We're having a little pop-up show this weekend. So that makes it all the more fun. And again, we're gonna go back here and season this side as well, okay? 
right back here. Okay. These are a couple of our simple ingredients. On that lemon pepper and garlic powder, make sure your powders are really fine powder. Um, I can tell everyone on this, a lot of the garlic powder you get is very grainy. Um, so you need to go find a powder. Not many stores always have it. You might have to go on the bulk aisle to find it. I know like Spice Island, McCormick and all that is, is a very grainy garlic, uh, a garlic powder. So it's basically garlic salt baked and um, that's what they use. And it is not like the true garlic powder that you're looking for. Um, it's awesome. So we blend that also um, with a steak to make our steak seasoning, um, which is, adding some chicken there, which you'll see eventually as we move down the line of items that we took, it's a blend of lemon pepper, garlic powder, and cracked black pepper. Uh, those are really some of our substantial um, ingredients that we use in seasoning we use here at the cafe. We try to keep everything very simple. So these are items that you can go home and do at home. I don't want to think it's rocket science or anything else. Um, and so that's the beautiful part about what we do. It's very simple. And if you're making these shrimp BLTs for like a lot of people, one thing is what I would recommend is buying, you've probably seen them out there, Blackstone makes a flat top griddle that's incredible. It's 36 inches, four burner, just like this, maybe not as deep, and it controls a great amount of heat, and uh, it's something to think about investing in, uh, and it's about 300 bucks, but I can guarantee it's what we cook on, we take the catering, we do all of our food, we can do all of our food right off that. So my wife is getting ready to make the shrimp BLTs, Oh, look, she's already done. She's one step ahead of me. One more, one more. All right. So, we put onions on our shrimp BLT. Why? Because I like red onions. You don't like red onions? Beautiful part. Don't put it on. So, we put the mustard on both, little lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. Um, you do not have to use, we use the spring mix lettuce. If you want to use a romaine, iceberg, whatever, more than welcome, okay? I'm not here to tell you how. This is just how we do it, okay? So, absolutely. We're almost ready to construct this sandwich. All right, we got that bacon ready. And we got three pieces on there. A quarter pound of shrimp. And that's that. So some, something very simple, you take a bite, heavenly goodness and probably um, if you're coming here for lunch that is what you need to get so thank you so much if you want to look at any of these items that we have come to the cafe and we're also we'll have them online here soon thank you